Okay. So, shopping spree. Let's go on our date. In the afternoon, you tour Tatsumi Port Island. Oh, uh, I'm calling it now. Uh, maybe not. I was thinking maybe we'd social link with What's-Her-Face, but... Maybe a killing will happen over here, and it'll show that it's starting to spread, and it'll be What's-Her-Face. Because, like, if she's not going to be in an area where we can reach her and social link with her, then, then there has to be a purpose for giving her a portrait. Maybe she's going to die. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she'll be the next victim. And at night, uh, Power Mall Club of Spade. Okay, we skipped the day? Wow. Well, night's more interesting anyways, usually. Oh, hey, Rise, your place. Whoa! So this is a club. <laughs> We've already seen a club before, though, if you know what I mean. Woo! I'm totally ready for this! Alright! Can we do a duet? There's nothing like this back home. Oh, wow. Is it permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? Uh, you're also a high school student, so shut the frick up. What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. Indeed. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Huh? You're leaving? He probably had something to investigate, I'm guessing. Why don't you join us? Oh yeah, I'm sure he'd love karaoke. Are you... asking me to stay? Man, look at that face! Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. You seem to turn down the others pretty quickly, but maybe you'd like us. Uh, I... it's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Uh-huh. Well, you're free now, right? I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. That is something I'm interested in, but yeah, like, oh. Uh. How about it? Very well, if you insist. Oh, and that blush! God, I mean, guys usually blush too, I guess. I've never seen Yosuke blush, I don't think. Kanji I've seen blush, but... Huh? What's up? You look a little red. That's not true. It is. Man, like, yeah, like... They, they must have... I don't know. Like, all the stuff with him, like... Is it him? Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Oh wow, you can do that? Awesome. Connections. Yes. Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? <laughs> yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. Rosetti coming in handy. <sighs> he doesn't want to look at him. Because he, he finds him super hot, right? What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? He's got a huge boner for, for, for Naoto, that's why. Mm, that ain't it. <laughs> oh, Teddy's here. Why is Teddy here? Was he here before? I don't know. Reset reserve the second floor and you all made a toast. Are you sure this is alright? Isn't it expensive? No worries. She's got lots of money, I'm guessing, from all the gigs she's done. Two years ago, when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it, and the gig was cancelled. So they owe you a favor? They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. Awesome! <laughs> well, in that case, I'm gonna order more! Oh, I saw Naoto get a little uh, jingle as well. Woo! I'm not gonna hold back either! Oh god, are you drunk, Teddy? Dude, you sound even weirder today. I think he's drunk. Oh, you're so cold, Kanji. Okay, well, at least this is a new side of Teddy. This might be interesting. <sighs> Kanji! What, are you uh, trying to dissect his name? Kanji! Kanji! I conjecture that something's up! <laughs> That's a great one. Man, you're already in high gear. 
What is he drinking? Yeah, it looks like most of us have red stuff, but he's one of the few that has the orange, which I guess is beer? I don't know. Or something. <laughs> God, you're red! I guess you found it funny, too. Conjecture! <laughs> wow. She's looser than usual, too. Is she also drinking some of the hard stuff? Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? Uh, I told them to give us soft drinks. They're not alcoholic. Are you sure? Because you look super red. That's a new face. Mm. I told them. Really, I did. Really. Really, really? Because I don't know if you really, really did not. Oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. <laughs> if it's so hot, maybe we should all take our clothes off. Is this seriously booze? But the smells. Oh, you know what booze smells like? King's game! Oh god, really? Times like this, adults play the king's game. It's the law. <laughs> I don't think Kanji's quite an adult yet, but fine, let's do it. And I don't think Teddy counts, but fine, let's do it. They make me act like a ditz, call me Rosette and stuff, and then say I'm a kid? No, don't worry, Rosette. You're an adult. I mean, Rise. It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot better after I go home. <laughs> Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. <laughs> That's a good job, Laura. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Let's see what this King's Game is all about that Risa wants to play. I mean, I know what the King's Game is, but does she know? Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready! <laughs> what? What? Why me? The King's word is law! Chop, chop! <laughs> okay. It's already started? Apparently she already decreed herself the king. Um, what's this king's game again? Oh god, look at Yukiko, she looks so tipsy. Uh, from my memory, I believe it's, it's just, yeah, there's a person who's declared the king, and they can order someone to do something, and they have to do it. And then after that, the king passes on. Uh, sometimes you decide the next one by, like, uh... You know, by, by like putting things in a hat and picking them out of the hat, or not necessarily a hat, but you know what I mean. Um, other times you just go in like rotation order. Other times whoever gets picked on is the next king. Depends on, on, on whose rules you're playing by. Okay, one chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. Okay. <laughs> Whoever's doing Yukiko, that's pretty good. I like that. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. Oh yeah, that's another part of it. Sometimes the king... Well, actually, I think this happens more often than not. Again, there's different ways to, to play it, really, but yeah. Usually the king's order goes to a random person. That reminds me of a certain anime I watched where the king tried to rig it so they could, like make out with the guy she liked, but uh, she screwed up and had to make out with one of the girls. And it was funny. Um, Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. Yukiko, where'd you learn this stuff? Also, like, are we all drinking the same stuff? Do these two just get super drunk real easy or what? Come on, everyone draw. Oh boy. Which stick should you draw? Draw, draw the near one, draw the far one. Draw the far one. You drew a stick. It says number one. Okay, so... Who's the king? Teddy's is red! Red! Is Teddy the king? Oh god, that can't be good. <sighs> We're already doomed from the get-go. This could get bad. I, the king... Command thee to smooch the king 
Without delay. Oh god, this could get really bad. Just don't let me have it. Let Yosuke have it. That would be hilarious. Smooch. And remember, you don't get to choose. Smooch. It's whoever you you have to pick the the number, I believe, before you you, you can't just pick a person. Please God, grant me a girl. Number one. No. 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 I still have my first kid. It doesn't count. He's not a human. He's an animal. My first kid is an animal. I <laughs> I'm gonna lose my virginity to a bear! I mean, it's only a kiss, but I'm gonna lose my kiss virginity to a bear! No! I'm at number two! <laughs> no take backs! Ugh, you wouldn't be saying that if it was you, Yosuke! God damn it! Smooch! Smooch! Oh my god, no way. What are they gonna do? There's no way they're gonna show this. A bear's chastity. True love needs a sacrifice just for you, Sensei. If they can show this, there's no reason they can't show, you know, you smooching with whoever your girlfriend might be. But I don't think they're gonna show this. They're gonna get around it somehow. Whoa! Hey, not me! Did he miss? Cause he's drunk? Oh my god, did they actually do it? And why did he pick Kanji instead of me? Oh Only the first round and two contestants have dropped out already. Wow. Wow. And wait a second, why? Also, dropping out, that's not something you, that usually happens in King's game. I mean, I guess it can, but usually the king doesn't drop out. So, is it because he's drunk? He accidentally kissed Kanji? How much would Kanji like that? He does like guys, so... Of course, they're not going to show us, but... Wow. Was it on the mouth? Man, just thinking about that. Huh? Is it that kind of game? Apparently. She's drunk, it is. On to round two! Okay! You must be very careful here. Which uh, stick should you draw? Oh, God. I drew the far one last time, and I turned out okay, though I shouldn't have, so draw the far one again! Do a stick. There's a red mark on it! You're the next king! Who's the king? I'm the king! I'm the king of the castle! Phew! Someone decent. No crazy orders this time. I might make it super crazy. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme! I don't think that's necessarily how it goes. But, um... I mean, I guess if you want to make it that way in your drunk rules... T.A., don't be such a party pooper. <laughs> it's just so fun seeing characters act drunk. It's fun acting drunk, too, as an actor. The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. Really? That's not that much. You can go further than that. Nah, make him sit on his lap. Ooh, that might be kinky. Oh, or they could have to hug him. While sitting on his lap and kiss at the same time. French kiss? Better than that, a piggyback ride. Mmm, that, that makes things a little less kinky. Come on, King! Who's gonna do what? Okay, at least I get to pick something. Everyone's staring at you. Will yours be? Uh, number one. Oh, God. Oh, my God! What is this? Okay. There's five of them, though, which means one of them I can't get a scene with. Number one rests on my lap. Number two sits on my lap. Number three hugs me. Number four gets a piggyback ride. Okay. Let's think about this and be logical here. These scenes are scripted. Um, 
If I say rests on my lap or sits on my lap, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get a guy. I'm gonna get an out and but maybe I'll find out it's a girl. Um, Yosuke though. I, if I say rests on my lap, I'm thinking I get Yosuke. I don't want that. Sits on my lap, I might I might get Yosuke. So I, that's why I'm scared of those. Hugs me? I mean, I don't care if a guy hugs me. It's not that weird. Um, and I mean, I've already hugged Chie, so it's not a big deal. Gets a piggyback ride. That sounds the funnest. That sounds the funnest. Like, I want to see what this is all about. Let's do that one. Like, we could go kinky, but there's plenty of time for that. So this is, seems like the funnest answer. There's three girls here and I get chosen? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Really? You're not rests or sits on the lap? Oh man, I kind of want to see like what the other answers are, but fuck, I screwed up. The king's order is... Absolute! <laughs> to be fair, he did say that before, but damn it! Really? I had to pick Yosuke? I was trying to avoid the answers that were like, oh, they're probably gonna put Yosuke on me. So I would have gotten a girl if I picked one of the others? Oh man, I feel cheated. I feel cheated! A piggyback ride? Not cool, man. Not cool. Yeah, I don't think it's very cool either. I want one of the girls. That's why I chose that one. Ha-ha! Yeah! Oh god, fall off, then you'd be eliminated. <laughs> You've had enough, right? Please show some mercy. Is that the first time I've ever seen Yosuke blush? You suffered along with Yosuke. As if the bond between you. Oh, gross, I don't want that. I had to bond with Yosuke? <laughs> me next! Me! I'm the king! Actually, the queen. Oh god, man, I still- I want to see what that ha oh man, I really want to know what what, uh, what other answers I could have gotten, like, would they have all been with girls? Was there no possibility for an Atto? If that's the case, I picked the worst possible one. Oh man, I really want to know what they would have shown. I picked that one on purpose to avoid getting yosuke and I got yosuke anyways. You didn't even draw a chopstick. Alright then, let's have someone talk about Something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone. Hmm, let's see. Oh, Naoto kun, I choose you! Uh, I don't. Uh, A, it doesn't work like that, and B, really? She's breaking all the rules, just ignore her, Naoto. Uh, he can talk about it though if he wants. No. No, that won't be necessary. What, you're gonna talk about it, really? One stipulation, though. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. Oh, really? Okay! All right, I guess. No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? Really, you have no embarrassing? We have to change that. It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn, way to kill the mood. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. We lend our powers to the police from time to time. Uh-huh. For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu... Noha? Sounds like... Konoha, yeah. Although I do remember the name Kuzunoha from somewhere as well. In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Indeed. Thus my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police, and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. I'm sure you're still good even if you're inexperienced. But investigators nowadays are well versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. Indeed, you gotta you gotta compete with those cop those cop issued investigators. <laughs> uh, continue the detective's pride. That sounds tough. Uh, that's it. No punchline. <laughs> <sighs> I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. That's so embarrassing. Isn't Hotokun embarrassing? Not really. I want to go home. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sleepy. Oh boy. 
Well then, it's your turn now. Oh? A straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder case? Uh, we can't really say that. I guess we'll have to lie. You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Well, we go rescuing people who've been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. Oh my god. I didn't even think about that. They're drunk, so they're gonna spill their- Oh my- How is Yosuke gonna react to that? He's the head honcho of no police. And then, we do stuff like Persona! With our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. Uh, maybe she's he's gonna think you're crazy because you're drunk? Let's hope. Or we could finally maybe, uh, reveal it to the world? I doubt it. You idiot! Don't say that, Yosuke! Play it off like she's a dumb drunker who doesn't know what she's saying! Now you're making it worse! Are you making fun of me? There we go! Thank God. I mean, I, I, personally, I want to reveal it to the world, but I mean, if we're being smart about this, it was dumb of Yosuke to say that, because he could have could have made Naoto suspicious. Like, at first I thought it was bullshit, but when Na Yosuke said that, I think there's some merit to it. It's true! Wait, don't admit it, goddammit, Rize! Persona! <laughs> wow. Jeez, someone put these two drunks to bed already. <laughs> I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. Actually, what we told you was the exact truth, but hey. But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. <laughs> what is it? Good one, Naruto. No. I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. So, what is it? Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Is it like the placebo effect? We think it's alcohol? Who cares? That doesn't make any sense! You can't just... I mean, the placebo effect is one thing, but it doesn't go that far! You can't get drunk off placebo, can you? <laughs> it feels so good. Good night. What? Hey, senpai. How the hell are we gonna get back with two passed out drunks? Well, this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? <laughs> Maybe. Teddy's still totally okay. <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning. <laughs> <laughs> Did he snort for once? Bring it on. If it's not alcohol, it shouldn't be that bad, but... But, like, what, then what is it? Like, what? It doesn't just happen. I mean, maybe one person would weirdly experience it that bad. All of you? All three? As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. <laughs> Are you a pack of imbeciles? We kind of are. We are. We really are. Last night of the school trip drifts on. Ooh, special scene with Chia, maybe? 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 Ooh, okay, yes. Uh, on a new file, though, because I'm very curious. I'm going to go back and play that section again. I want to see what the other orders do, so I'm going to keep that save file there. I'll leave it on screen, don't worry. I'll show you the other orders, but I'm just going to wait till I um, get to a natural stopping point. Not these random safe spots. Third day of the school trip. Shopping district in front of the station, Hagakure Ramen. Hagakure! Mmm, oh man, this is really something! Cool. This place serves the best ramen in town. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. Oh, that sounds like it'd be against the rules. <laughs> Even I can handle. Mm -hmm. She's still hungover? Um, what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. I don't get it! You weren't drunk! What is wrong with you, Yukiko? I mean, Rise at least kind of got over it, I guess. She's not hungover, but what the hell? Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. That doesn't make any sense! 
I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> How does that happen? Leave in the comments. Does anybody know of anything like this? I've never heard of something like this happening. Like, getting drunk off placebo? Is that a thing? If anybody know, if, like knows of any experience like that, either that's happened to them or someone they know or they've heard about an incident like that, let me know. I've never heard of something like this. Ah, oh, this flavor never changes. Well, it could get dull after a while then. Then again, you haven't been here in a while, right? I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Oh, I get it. <laughs> because now you don't care that much about your figure. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure you care a little bit. Hmm. This is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. Oh, that's that's an that's a very weird taste. It's it's one of the those deceiving tastes. Wait, does it have cocaine in it? See, see. Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Can you eat through your mouth hole? Do you have like a? <laughs> wow. Um, I'll have a hug of curry bowl. Who would want to ever have a hug of curry bowl? The hug of curry bowl is a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. What, it was a special before? Oh well, this is just as good. Uh, you say that only to justify to yourself the fact that you didn't take it. You wish you had, though. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Who cares? Sure, no problem. Uh, were you talking to Risa or Teddy? See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. <laughs> wow. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. You don't need makeup, Risa. You're pretty just the way you are. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. One of them just has like a handprint. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> That's true. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. <laughs> I like him better that way. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? He probably likes some of the steam. He's used to it. Huh? Where's my bowl? Did he eat it? You didn't eat it, did you? Oh, Teddy's gonna get his ass whooped. You didn't finish, so... <laughs> oh, Teddy's getting an ass whooping. I was going to finish it. Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? Only six or seven. I don't know how to count. Yeah, right. It's not that hard to count to two or three or four. You little liar. Give me that check. Let's see here. I'm not paying for this. One, two... Ten bowls? Oh wow, holy crap! Yuki-chan's makes it eleven! <laughs> Whoa, nice burp. Speaking of which, where does it go? I said holy crap jokingly, but then I'm like, do you crap? Is that a thing you do now, now that you have a human body? Or How does it even work? That just, it just still doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sure they're going to explain it at some point. I mean, maybe they do, but like, how do you grow a human body? What? I was going to finish mine. I'm pretty sure I said this at one point, but I'm pretty sure Teddy had a human body before, was sucked in the TV, doesn't remember anything of being a human before, and only now has memories of being Teddy, but he was a human all along. I think I said that at some point. If I didn't, I'm still thinking that. They were there. This is... I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh boy. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore, but now that it's over... I actually had a good time. I really want to see those other orders. What if the game screws with you and it's like, it's Yosuke every time? What the frick, game? Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. Uh, buy an Iwatoda t-shirt. Buy an Iwatoda mochi. Buy an Iwatoda lamp. Um... Alright, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Teddy? Yo. Hey, Ted. Is he bear acting again? <laughs> bear acting? Uh, actually, I don't even know. That's a joke. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little. Oh, what happened? Fall asleep or something? Or. D dude. Hey, he ain't moving. 
Did he disappear from the real world for some reason? I, is he hibernating? Oh boy. Hey. Don't, don't, don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? I doubt that would be a thing if he's growing a human body. Are you serious? Teddy! <laughs> <laughs> you freaking dick! You were building up a burp! My tummy's heavy. Leave it behind. <laughs> I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. Not my job. Let Yosuke do it. You're he he's your owner. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Indeed. See you later, Tonato. Oh, Yukiko, wait for me! <laughs> hey! I really can't move! And I don't have the money for a return ticket! Well, I'm not paying for it. Farewell, Teddy. <laughs> we shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. Are we really gonna leave him here? Did we really leave him here? You all headed to the rendezvous to head back home. You didn't leave him there, did you? I mean, I mean, it's funny to joke about it, but like that could end up really bad. All days of school trip passed by safely, and only Teddy died. We went to a lover's place and didn't get a special scene. Are you kidding? Ah. Are you kidding me? Screw you, game. Don't do that and then not do a thing. Welcome home. Welcome home. Did you have fun? Kinda. It was great. It was okay. It was a cock tease. Come with me next time. Uh, I'd rather not say that. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, right? I've seen it on TV. There are tall buildings and a bunch of people and an ocean and stores. Calm down, Nanakers. As excited as if she was the one who went. Who went? More excited than me. You brought a souvenir for Nanako. Indeed. Are you gonna wear it now? Thanks. Oh, you don't like it? Thank you to Modesty. Oh, hi, Dad. Does she not like the shirt? Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? I'll have to get her the food then. I'm, I know I'm gonna be reloading the game because I want to see those other uh, Kings things, but. Look, my big bro got me a souvenir. Hey, nice. Did you remember to thank him? She thanked me twice, actually. The second one seemed a bit weak, though. Of course. You don't like it? Huh. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. Hmm. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. Maybe I'll get her food. She seems to like food. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. Indeed he was. You talk to him much? Is it really a him? Uh, I guess so, yeah. He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Uh-huh. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. Indeed. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. What argument? At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. What's his argument? Adults can be a selfish bunch. True enough. Kids can be selfish, too. There's a kind look in his eyes. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Indeed. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Uh-huh. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? So, safe spot now? School trip is over and it's a peaceful sunny Sunday morning. Nothing of note happened while you were away. What did you do today? Anybody here call me? Call me, maybe. Okay, um... Yeah, so I'm gonna save.
I don't think I'm gonna keep this one though. I maybe. I don't know. Either way, whether I keep it or not, I have some extra scenes I want to see. So let us load. Load data. And then it has to be this one. Yeah. So I'm gonna speed through this and try to see if I can't see the other scenes real quick. Okay, so last time I did the far one, I might as well try the near one this time. Do a stick, says number six. Okay, so... Who's the king? Is it still Teddy? Teddy's is red! Red! Is Teddy the king? Just don't pick me again. Smooch! Please, God, grant me a girl. Number three! Well, it's not me. Ah! <laughs> he still gets kanji! I'm at number two! <laughs> no take backs! Smooch! Smooch! Kanji! So you were after my fuzzy fur! Oh god. Okay. But it's my first time. Be gentle. Oh god! Whoa! Ow! Hey, quit that! Don't make me flatten you, damn it! <laughs> Two contestants have dropped out already. <laughs> huh? Is it that kind of game? On to round two. Okay. I want to. Uh, I am curious about what the near one has. I want to see this one first, and then I think I'll, do, I'll I'll check the far one options. Wait, near Mark, and I'm the king again? Cause I picked the far one. I don't get it. Who's the king? Are there gonna be different options this time? Phew. Someone decent. No crazy orders this time. So what's the point of an option for this one? I feel cheated. Oh well. So last time I tried to get, I tried to not get Yosuke by picking Pickyback Ride, and I still got Yosuke. Um. So let's see. Rests on my lap. Sits on my lap. Hugs me. Hugs me is so generic. Um, alright, fine. I mean, I kind of want to see all of them. So, I guess we'll go backwards order. Hugs me. <laughs> I'm number three! Oh god, she's drunk. Y Yukiko-san? Oh god, this is more than just a hug. How else would you hug someone who's sitting down? Are you smooching me on the neck right now? Hugging you pretty tight, and it does look like she's smooching me. Let's try Mochi. See if she likes that any better. All right, let's get going. Wow, thanks. And now you look inside. Ooh, it looks so good. I'm gonna eat it right now. Yep, she likes it. Okay, number two sits on my lap would be next, and then rests will be last. Best for last, maybe? Maybe. If it's Chia, that might be the best for last. Huh? Number two? No, I guess number one's gonna be a reset. Alright, maybe this will be the best. Maybe this will be the keeper. The king's order is... Absolute! <laughs> it's funny when you say it to Yosuke, because he's the one who said it last time. Yeah, you walk around and do it. Come on, you gotta sit closer up. Oh boy. You can go quiet. <laughs> it's funny with the drunk people, though, really. It'd be funny if Chia was drunk. Oh well. Chia's cringing with embarrassment. <laughs> that one was kind of lame, honestly. That was, yeah, that one was kind of lame. I mean, you know, it was fun, GA, great, but it's funner with the drunk people, really. I think I'd keep the Yukiko one over that one, but let's see the Rise one first before deciding. Alright, number one rests on my lap. Yes! I'm number one! Oh boy! Rise time! Is you gonna make it to my lap? What? 
Oh man, you don't know how much I want to trade places with you right now. Well, too bad, cause I'm the king, baby. <laughs> Senpai's lap is so warm. It feels so nice. Oh. He says lying there completely relaxed. Really? If that's all it is, Yukiko's was the best, probably. The best um, scene. Cause she really did look like she was neck kissing me. <laughs> Alright, so, that one was okay. Um, probably better than Chie's and Yosuke's, but I still think Yukiko's the best. Will I keep Yukiko's? I think for practical reasons I'm going to keep Risei's, because again, I don't have a lover's arcana, so it helps to get closer to her like that. Um, although I do think Yukiko's scene was the best. That was my favorite one. What do they got? Uh, Fuma Budo. Uh, I can't believe it's wonderfulness! Heavy suit, 27,000. I'm gonna need some money for that. And Inaba Trout. Ooh, nah, I'm gonna get the weapon for sure. Alright, so I'm gonna need some money. Oh boy. Alright, so I'll save and see you guys next time. And then I'll probably get the claw. Because, yeah. So see you guys then. Uh, I'm gonna save over this one, because, yeah. Yuki Go 1 was a, was a more enjoyable scene. But the reset one is more practical, so.